Tomato ketchup is delicious and everyone's favorite sauce. With tomato ketchup, practically all of our meals taste better. Tomato pulp, vinegar, sugar, salt, and other herbs make up the majority of its ingredients. The herbs enhance the flavor of the tomatoes, while the vinegar aids the preservation of the tomato ketchup. Additionally, starches can be added, which raises the viscosity of the ketchup. The recipe may occasionally need to be altered since the quality of tomato varies. Each brand's tomato ketchup may have a slightly different composition list. You might have questions like, where do the bulk of tomatoes for ketchup production come from? How exactly is ketchup manufactured? What technology and machinery are used in the factories? How does the product go all the way from the soil to the table? In today's video, we will answer all these questions and tell you about the mind-blowing technology used in tomato ketchup production. Before we continue, subscribe to our channel and press the notification button to stay updated. Since the beginning of time, farmers have been growing delicious, sun-ripened tomatoes under ideal conditions. Agricultural methods and tomato crop quality both advanced over time. Some methods are utilized, such as ripping, to improve the growth of the tomatoes by adding nutrients to the soil and cover cropping, to help strengthen the soil, add nutrients, and boost tomato yield. Indeed, horticulture is as important to our existence as tomato ketchup. The tomato is one of the few garden crops that can be used to make so many delicious, wholesome, and nutritious dishes. It is the precious ingredient of the most beloved ketchup recipe. There are many procedures from washing the tomatoes to transporting the manufactured ketchup to the consumers in the production of tomato ketchup. The tomatoes are moved from the trucks and into the factory using a water irrigation system. By doing this, the tomatoes are protected from injury and are partially cropped. The tomatoes are washed again after a brief period of storage. Using rotating drums, the water is then drained. A sorting machine is then used to separate tomatoes of consistent quality. To preserve the tomatoes and eradicate bacteria, the sorted tomatoes are pre-cooked in stainless steel barrels. With the help of a cyclone, pre-cooked tomatoes are turned into pulp and purified of their seeds, skins, and stems. The tomato juice is further processed once the pulp has been filtered. In a mixing and cooking kettle, the tomato pulp is cooked until the desired concentration is achieved. To encourage ingredient absorption and avoid overcooking, the temperature needs to be precisely managed. To stop foaming, anti-foaming chemicals or compressed air are used. During the cooking process, herbs, vinegar, sugar and salt are also added. The last stage of refining is cooking. Filtration is used to get rid of any leftover fibers and particles. The tomato ketchup is homogenized to boost the sauce's viscosity. Before filling, it is derated to eliminate air to stop bacterial development, air bubble formation, and discoloration. Ketchup is cooked to a minimum of 88 degrees Celsius to avoid contamination after filling. The packaging is completed once the process is concluded. It is then placed inside plastic or glass bottles. The small neck makes it easier to use and reduces interaction with the air. The bottles are quickly sealed after filling. In order to prevent taste loss and high temperatures, filled bottles are instantly chilled with cold air or cold water. In short, the process of making ketchup starts with a large quantity of tomato paste that is combined and heated with sugar, vinegar, and spices in a cooking kettle. Any fibers and particles that remain after cooking are sorted out. Your tomato ketchup production process is complete and ready for packaging and delivery once it reaches the proper viscosity. The tomato ketchup is shipped in bulk to the market and merchants after packing and labeling, depending on demand. To avoid browning in the little neck from the air in the headspace, the boxes are frequently stored upside down. Ketchup made from tomatoes can be kept at room temperature. However, after you have opened the bottle or packet and enjoyed your meal with this delicious and flavorful sauce, you should keep the sauce in the refrigerator to maintain good quality. Mind-blowing technology is used in tomato ketchup production bringing the tomatoes from the soil to a delicious sauce on your table. Tomato ketchup may now be produced both small and large-scale economically thanks to new technology. Instant pulping, immediate seed and skin separation, and thermal processing with spices are all some of the new technologies utilized and are all done in one machine.
tomato ketchup is more in demand now than it ever was. The warm climate vegetable tomato is high in vitamins and potassium. Because of their low fat and calorie content, tomatoes and tomato-based products are regarded as healthy foods. They are a wonderful source of fiber and protein and are cholesterol-free. The market's need for ketchup is rising along with customer demand, which is doing so day by day. As a result, tomato ketchup is now produced in large quantities all over the world. Both domestic and foreign producers have made their way into the industry. Fruit pulp processing is no longer limited to the typical multinational conglomerate manufacturer. And because there is such a high demand for tomato ketchup, it must now be produced in large quantities using modern equipment. Technology is employed to fully process tomato pulp, ensuring precision at every stage of production. Complete tomato processing facilities, such as those for processing sauces, ketchup, puree, and paste, have been in use. The manufacturing facilities and factories use processing equipment such as sorters and graters, high-efficiency washers, blanchers, pulpers, and sterilizers for tomato juice. Modern equipment is utilized to make tomato puree, including a vacuum deaerator, homogenizer and sterilizer in addition to a multi-effect evaporator for larger plants and a kettle and vacuum pan for smaller plants. For the sauces, cutting-edge filling equipment is used. For large production, renowned and top tomato ketchup producers use cutting-edge processing equipment, such as tomato pulp pasteurizers and tomato ketchup processing equipment. There is also usage of hot break and cold break systems in the tomato paste processing equipment. The damaged tomatoes and green leaves are taken out using sorting conveyors. With the help of a hammer mill or monoblock screw pump, the sorted tomatoes are chopped. The pulp of the chopped tomatoes is heated in a tube heater. To remove the seed and peel, a pulper and refiner are required. Preheated juice is then kept in a juice tank and pumped into an evaporator. The high-pressure pump is used to convey concentrated juice into the sterilizer, holding, and cooling system. Aseptic fillers pack drums with aseptic bags with sterilized juice. Depending on the pH level and storage conditions, packaged goods can be kept for 12 to 24 months. Tomato paste manufacture, ketchup preparation, and production need a ton of incredible equipment. The main machinery consists of fruit mills, sorting conveyors, vacuum evaporators, pulp cum finishers, double-jacketed steam kettles, formulation tanks, pasteurizers, and washing units. Automatic tomato paste processing production powered by steam is used. It's made from stainless steel. The packaging machine used is a highly effective and reliable aseptic method of bulk packaging for high and low acid food products. The aseptic filler receives drums or bins through roller conveyors. The containers can be drums in a single line, drums on a pallet, four drums, and bins. The operator places the pre-sterilized bag in the container, then they are automatically transported under the filling station. The pre-sterilized bag is manually placed under the aseptic chamber in a sterile environment saturated by overpressure steam. The operator pushes the start cycle and automatically the cap is removed, the bag filled with sterilized product, and then recapped. The standard measurement system is with load cells, but also the volume system is available. At the end of the filling cycle, the roller conveyor transports the containers to the exit. It can do the filling continuously. It improves the utilization rate of the pasteurizing system. If there's some malfunction with the filler, the products will be in the tank before the UHE sterilizer. It has a compact structure, and most of the components ensure the reliability of the equipment. Stainless steel is used for the whole machine. High production speeds are achieved by single head or double heads available. Reliability is improved from a fully PLC-controlled self-diagnostic operational model. Its capacity is 3 to 4 tons per hour. A fully automatic pre-made pouch bag packing machine is used in tomato ketchup production. It supports different measuring devices, low material loss, precise weight, and good sealing quality. It uses prefabricated bags with perfect patterns and improved product grade. It's a newly researched and developed product. It's an automatic vacuum packing machine for liquid products like ketchup. Its packing efficiency is 2,000 to 2,600 bags per hour.
It is equipped with an automatic feeding machine and is able to seal material after weighing in vacuum packaging. It is PLC controlled and has a human machine interface through which the whole machine can be monitored. When using traditional techniques and equipment, mass production can encounter many issues. To dilute tomato and paste into the water, lengthy mixing durations are necessary since agitators struggle to blend liquids with vastly different viscosities. Product thickening additives often generate agglomerates that are difficult for agitators to break down. Ingredients that have it fully hydrated can accumulate on the mixer's parts and the vessel's wall. Complete dispersion cannot be achieved without prolonged mixing durations. The homogenizer requires a consistent premix. The finish of ketchup can become bland after homogenization and other processing. The latest technology solves each of these issues by employing a high shear mixer, for instance, and skipping extra steps like pre-dispersion of starches or thickeners, and occasionally homogenization. The mixer is turned on when the vessel has been filled with water. Then add the powdered ingredients. Strong suction is produced by the fast rotation, drawing the liquid and particles into the work head. The substance is compelled out of the stator and added back to the mixture. The mixing cycle is maintained by simultaneously drawing fresh materials into the work head. The circulatory mixing design makes sure that the thickening agents are quickly finished hydrating. After that, the tomato paste is added and distributed in the same way. Rapidly, a homogeneous mixture is produced. This is far superior to traditional techniques. Depending on the type and volume of the mixture, different types of mixers are used, such as the high shear batch mixer, which is appropriate for batches up to 150 gallons, and the high shear inline mixer, which is perfect for larger batches and is aeration-free, self-pumping, and built to be cleaned in place. A higher degree of shear is possible with its multistage units, which leads to finer particle size and quicker processing times. These cutting-edge and mind-blowing technologies have significantly shortened processing times, accelerated the dispersion of thickeners and stabilizers, increased ingredient yield, and improved uniformity in texture, color, and product consistency. One of the most basic foods that are consumed every day with almost every meal is tomato ketchup. It is not just the most popular condiment, but practically every consumer, regardless of age, adores it. It has established itself as a staple in homes, restaurants, canteens, and street food. Manufacturers of ketchup are constantly working to increase the amount and quality of tomatoes. The working production procedure has become faster and more efficient thanks to modern technology. It has significantly increased production. Thanks to these techniques, tomato ketchup production is now more hygienic. Both small and large-scale production is now economically feasible. And that's all wonderful news for those of us who love eating and enjoy almost all our food with the flavorful and delicious tomato ketchup. Is there more advanced technology that could be used in tomato production? Do you think that technology may have positively affected ketchup production? Or maybe would you like to see similar videos? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like and share the video. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching.